Andrew Shore on location in Chicago once again with another update from the 2010 meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO. One of the most exciting areas of targeted therapy is not a drug, it's a new form of radiation, proton therapy. One of the experts is Dr. James Metz from Penn Medicine and the Abramson Cancer Center. We spoke with him here at ASCO in Chicago. Proton therapy is a very unique way to give radiation therapy to patients with cancer. Regular x-rays, when they treat patients, go in one side of the body, go out the other side of the body. They radiate everything in between. Protons actually go in at a much lower dose, release all of their energy at a certain point, and then stop. So there's much less dose in front of the tumor and absolutely no dose of radiation behind the tumor. That allows us to conform radiation to the target much better and dramatically reduce the amount of normal tissue seeing radiation. That could potentially reduce side effects. It also can potentially allow us to combine radiation in ways that we couldn't do before that was just too toxic with chemotherapy and biologic agents. That may allow for improved outcomes down the road. Protons at the University of Pennsylvania have just started recently, so we opened our center in January of 2010, and the Roberts Proton Therapy Center is actually the largest proton therapy center in the world. We opened with a single room. We now have two rooms open. We open another room every three to four months, so it's actually a year and a half ramp up phase. So currently we're limited in uh, the amount of patients we can treat at any one time. We have about 30 patients a day on treatment. We get the maximum operation about a year from now, we'll have about 150 patients a day on treatment. So it's an exciting time for us as we ramp up with patients at the University of Pennsylvania. Current indications, we started with prostate cancer because there's a lot of experience with that out there. So we understood how we were using the beam and making sure we were delivering our treatments appropriately. But we've rapidly moved to other disease sites. So we've already started treating patients with brain tumors. We treated patients with sarcomas. We're treating pediatric tumors. And we're also very uniquely treating patients with that have had radiation before, but have been told they can't get further treatment, we can now potentially retreat some patients with radiation using protons. So it's a new opportunity, a new indication that we may be able to help patients. Well, I think the future of proton therapy is very bright. We've really just tapped the surface of where proton therapy may be beneficial. Now, I firmly believe that protons by themselves are not really that meaningful. It's going to be the ability to combine protons with other therapies that we just haven't been able to do well thus far. So the bright future for protons is really combining with chemotherapeutic agents, biologic agents, surgery, all in ways we just haven't been able to do before. I think it's going to open a lot of doors down the road. Now our goal at the University of Pennsylvania is to treat every single patient on clinical trial. So we really understand what's the best utilization of a scarce resource such as this, and we're using it for the right diseases to get the maximum outcome for patients. At the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania, we've tried to build, build a center where everything is integrated under, under one roof. We realize more and more that patients really require multimodality care for most malignancies. That can mean surgery, chemotherapy, biologic therapies, radiation. But really, you need to have all those in one place for the patient to get maximal benefit and have a group of physicians that understands the various options that are out there and can put those all together quickly and efficiently and safely for patients. So we built this center so that it's all integrated in one roof to help with the patient experience. They can get decisions quickly and get on therapy quickly, but have options for everything that's out there. Very promising news about targeted radiation with proton therapy. I'm sure we'll be hearing more from Dr. Metz in the years to come on benefits for cancer patients. In Chicago, I'm Andrew Shore.